What if I told you that the world has a massive environmental problem that almost no one knows about and practically no one is addressing? The problem is eutrophication. Simply put, eutrophication is when water bodies experience excessive algae growth due to water pollution and agricultural impact. The resulting harmful algae blooms make water bodies toxic and kill plant and marine life. Agricultural practices contribute greatly to eutrophication and other climate change issues due to land disturbance and runoff of fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides. Global agricultural expansion is resulting in deforestation, impacting biodiversity and carbon sequestration. It is estimated that deforestation results in the loss of thousands of square miles of forest each year. Clearly, food production is necessary for the planet. But should these practices be used to produce what are marketed as sustainable or earth-friendly biomaterials? Eutrophication is not near the top of the list of world problems that get a lot of attention. Should it be? What are some of the consequences? Fish kills, dead zones, plant life destruction, and water body toxicity. What would you think if I told you there's a business model that helps address the problems on this list? The model economically incentivizes environmental restoration by removing algae waste, which is then turned into renewable and restorative biopolymers. Renewable because algae grows naturally and is currently overabundant. Restorative because it returns clean water to the environment and reduces greenhouse gas emissions by preventing excess algae from decomposing. Using plastics is inevitable, at least in the near future. How about lower impact, smaller footprint plastics with reduced use of petroleum and increased use of algae biomass to help restore and protect our earth? Through Bloom Sustainable Materials, if we replace just 10% of the yearly consumption of commonly used plastics with algae, over 2 billion kilograms of carbon dioxide could be captured and nearly 1 trillion liters of clean water could be returned to the environment. While land-based biomaterials may seem like a sustainable solution, they contribute to climate change considerably. Bloom's use of algae is a proven alternative that can reduce the negative impacts of land-based biomaterial production and offers a renewable, restorative, and recycled solution for the future.